waiting for the yeah. I am so happy about it. Hello guys, so it is Friday and I wanted to start my vlog here. Today lockdown na naman kami dito sa Ontario. So, not sure if mago work from home kami sa work ko and makikita na kami dun sa new office namin kasi we're gonna move to a new office. Mas magandang office siya kasi the team is really growing. I'm also anxious about this new lockdown kasi I'm gonna take the IELTS exam on a Monday so I'm not sure if it's gonna be affected. Good morning! So today is Saturday and we are on lockdown again. I'm actually really scared to go out because there's gonna be cops everywhere who can stop us and ask us why we're not home. Although I have a letter from my work stating that I'm working with essential business. Anyway, I'm home from work. I'm just gonna have a quick bite before I go live. I'm eating so fast. Kinakabahan ako. It's fine. So tomorrow naman, it's my off. My first ever day off in two months. <gasps> thank you so much for helping me and thank you for having to do it for me. Thank you, Theoda. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> 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 Grabe. As you can see, sobrang pula ng face ko kasi sobrang nag-init yung mukha ko. Kasi kinakabahan ako sa live video. By the way, if you wanted to watch our live with BLC, you can check out our Yesterday Philippines Facebook page and also my profile and also the Yesterday YouTube channel. So we post all our live videos in there so that the student can just see all the videos with different schools and see the different programs and different um, school partners that we have. So I wanted to do more of this in the future. Like really have a rundown of all our school partners because we really have a lot. One year is not enough if I'm gonna do a live video for all our partner school every week. <sighs> so next week I have a live naman with the Niagara College representative, si Ate Maria. So Filipino siya at magapagtagalog kami the whole time. So tomorrow is my first day off support time job ko in two months. I've been working for seven days straight for quite some time now. And sobrang nakapagod siya. So I was planning to actually do two day off for a month for my part time but then this month kasi nagkaroon ng holiday so hindi na ako nag request for another uh, day off kasi parang yun na yung day off ko. Sayang din naman kasi. So yeah! So tomorrow, kailangan ko mag review pala kasi I have an exam on Monday for IELTS. Oh my gosh, kinakabahan ako. Expert na kasi yung IELTS ko. And anyway, it's academics din naman, so hindi ko siya magagamit for PR. <sighs> so yun, we go work from home na kami starting Monday. We're gonna work from home for two weeks and then we'll see from there. So. Yeah, I feel like it's a benefit for me to work from home because I feel like I'm more creative like just on my own head and that I can shoot more videos, content because I love to set up the things on my own and just shoot everything on my own. I mean, I know it's pretty exhausting and hard sometimes but I just feel like I'm just like when there's a person who's looking at me while I'm talking so it's awkward. Yun. So I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. I've been working so hard for the past few weeks. Ha! Hindi pa ako nakapanood ng matinong series or movies or nakapagpasa ng books. Ganon. Ganon kalala. I actually have this trick that have been really working with me in the past few weeks. And this is the setting the... Paano ba explain to? And this is yung parang magsiset ka ng responsibilities per hour. So, dati kasi inisip ko parang, oh my god, sobrang ala naman nung taong nag-schedule per hour. You know what? I started doing it last week kasi sobrang na-overwhelm na talaga yung utak ko. Like, I would sit and I don't know what to do kasi sobrang daming nangyari sa utak ko. Like, oh my god, I have to do this, I have to do it, I do whatever. So, pag kailangan kong gumawa ng something, meron lang akong to-do list. But I don't know what to do first kasi all of them are urgent. I feel like it is, you know? So, 
I would just go back and forth to those things or I would sometimes multitask. Tapos, in the end, wala mo tatapo. And then, ang mangyayari is that you would spread yourself too thin and wala ka nang ma majujuice na creative sa iyo kasi sobrang exhausted ka na every day. You feel like wala ka laging time. Parang I haven't eaten my lunch. It's 1 p.m. but I'm not hungry. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna sleep and watch YouTube. I just don't want to use my brain today. my day off so I'm just gonna give this to myself. I have four plants here now and I wanted to have some flowers naman kasi puro greens. But then it's lockdown na. Like yesterday lang. Nag start yung lockdown again, yung strict lockdown so parang natakot akong lupas. Okay? Good night guys. Good evening. It is 8 8.26 na and I literally did nothing for the whole day like nakahiga lang ako I watched the movie, I watched a bunch of TikToks and Reels and now I'm eating, now I'm just gonna edit some vlog and then I'm gonna review for IELTS na talaga mami kasi bukas yung exam ko, oh my god kinakabahan ako oh my god Today is the day of my exam. So, I'm start pa lang naman ng quarantine last Saturday. Kaya medyo natatakot ako lumabas kasi makaharangan ako ng police and hindi ko alam kung ano ipapakita ko if ever. But, I have my ID with me anyway. Because I also need that for the exam. Oh, grabe, sobrang kinakabahan ako. Hindi ako nakapag... Hindi ako nakakain ng breakfast. Tapos, the whole morning, sakit ng chan ko. Oh my God! Kaya ngayon, magkamakdo na lang ako. Para may laman naman yung chan ko. And yung utak ko, hopefully. Yeah. Oh. This is it. Next station is Dumont. Dumont Station. But I'm super duper early. 10 pa yung exam ko, pero 9 a.m. pa lang. Kaya, mag breakfast muna ako. And tatambay sa gilid. Oh my god! Fresh air zone. Wow. Okay, so I found a little nook here. I'm just waiting for 9.30 so I can go inside the testing center kasi bawal mag-wait doon. Parang you have to arrive on time. Walang waiting area or whatever. So, 9.30 is the registration. So. <sighs> okay, I can do this. <sighs> Grabe, sobrang kinakaman na talaga ako. I just keep on telling myself, Yona, you've done this before. And academics pa yun, so you can do it again. Sabi nila kasi, mas, medyo mas madali ng konti yung general kasi sa academic. So, oh, sana talaga mabili, madali siya. And nag-research ako kagabi, grabe, super last minute review. Um, yung sa, uh, writing test 1 kasi sa academic, usually you have to explain the graph or the diagram or whatever it is na, or table. Then kailangan mong uh, gumamit ng mga technical words like the increasing of blah 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 the decline blah 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 ganon <sighs> the decline of the trend mga ganong kind but for this one yung general writing pala is more of 
email so it's either informal or formal emails so pag informal syempre gagamit ka ng mga informal words and you can use exclamation points uh, basta informal lang parang chika chika lang but in email form and then pag formal naman syempre medyo kailangan medyo technical ng konti but, syempre, masasaulo mo naman na yun. Like, dear sir, ma'am, I'm writing this letter to let you know that blah, blah, blah. Let me explain my situation, blah, blah, blah. Um, in, con no, in conclusion, no, would you like, um, what else? Syempre, kailangan buo yung mga letters mo, hindi yung I'd, dapat I would have, mga ganan. Huh, what else? Um, syempre, saulihin mo lang naman yung kind regards, Fiona Secondas. And for the writing naman, it's the same as the academics then. For the test 2 writing, same with the academics. So basically, you have to answer the proposition first. Siyempre, same din naman yung essay structure. So the first one, it should be like the thesis statement or yung... You have to answer the question muna. Sa lahat ng questions, sagutin mo muna sa isang paragraph. Like yung super brief um, answer sa lahat ng yon. So ito yung answer ko, blah, 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 ganun, ganun. And then paragraph naman is that you have to answer the first question um, lagay mo muna yung main point mo and then the reason behind it and then yung evidence so maglagay ka ng mga for example blah 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 and then conclusion um, and then i-link mo siya dun sa unang um, question so next paragraph is yung second question naman or yung second reason or whatever depende sa ka question sa'yo um, explain mo yon yung main reason and then yung ev um, yung main statement, then yung reason and then yung evidence and then linking it back to the first question. So, and the last one is yung conclusion. Basically, summarize mo lang lahat. <sighs> okay, yun lang muna yung tindihin ko. Writing lang kasi dun ako nahihirapan. Reading and listening, medyo okay na yun sa akin. Um, medyo okay na yun sa akin. Medyo focus naman ako. But, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, I'm home now. I'm done with the first part of the IELTS test and that's the listening, um, reading, and writing exam. Sobrang nabagod yung uta ko but tutulog muna ako kasi yung next exam ko is around 4.40 pa. So yeah, hmm. punti na lang. Okay, kakagising ko lang. Time check, it's already 3.40 p.m. And pupunta na ako dun sa testing centers ulit. But, bibili muna ako ng ice cream kasi antok pa ako. Oh. I'm scared. I'm here again. Here we go again. I'm freaking scared. No, no, no. We've done this before. So basically, it's just a casual interview or something like that. And what I love about it is not about the company or whatever. It's about life. I love talking about life. Okay, here I am again. I'm on the third floor English testing Canada ATC. <sighs> Finally, tapos na. Pukwento ko lang yun ng Eric kanina sa IELTS. Exam ko was at 10 a.m. and yun yung listening, writing, and reading. Okay, and di ko alam kung ano yung magiging result. Like, di ko talaga alam, di ko alam. Anyway, so, I took the computerized IELTS exam. And, mas prefer ko siya sa paper. Kasi, mas mabilis siya for me, ha? And, di ka na mag-scroll lagi ng pages or ng papers. So, mas madali siyang makita or mahanap. And, for the writing naman, ang dami kong nasulat. Like, 150 words yung kailangan lang for the part 1. And, yung nasulat ko is, I guess, 250 words. And, and yung next part naman, which is yung mas malaking points na dun dapat tayo magfo-focus, is 250 words yung kailangan dun. But, ang nagawa ko is 450 words. 400 plus. Sobrang dami kong nasulat dun. So, yeah, much better na mas madami kasi mababawasan yung points mo kapag hindi mo na abot yung uh, limit na words na kailangan. For reading naman, I don't know, hindi ko alam. Parang naguluhan ako panina sa binasa ko. Hindi ko sure kung nagets ko yung binasa ko. Hindi ko na nga siya tanda eh. After kong mabas ng testing center, like, nawala na yung, yung memory ko agad. So, hindi ako nakapag-vlog kasi when I went there, um, 
staff greeted me and binigyan niya ako ng bag where I would put all my stuff and everything, syempre yung phones, bawal yung electronics sa loob or watches, lahat. Wala ka dapat dala. So, um, nakabag lahat yung mga bags namin. So, may number kami doon. May mga number yung mga bag na yun. And yun lang yung dadalhin namin sa loob ng um, room, ng exam room. And since computerized siya, uh, meron kaming mga separate tables and separate computers. And yung computers na yun is may mga harang. So, I love it. I love the setup. And the funny thing is, nung nagpunta ko doon, di ba, nag ako ng staff and pinapunta niya agad ako doon sa room where I put all my things doon sa bag. And then, after doon, nagpunta na ako sa kabilang room which is the testing center. So, hindi na ako nagkaroon ng chance para umihi. So, the whole time, ihi-ihi ako. Nakaihi lang ako nung mag writing exam na. Hindi ako makapag-washroom kasi kapag 10 minutes na lang yung natitira sa time mo, you, like, no one should leave the room na. Ayun, nakapag-washroom naman ako after ko mag-reading exam and then pagbalik ko ng room, sakto, nag-10 minutes, bawal na lumabas. So, buti na lang naka, naabutan ko yung time na yun. Pagbalik ko dito, natulog ako ng konti, then balik ulit doon. For the speaking naman, feel ko ang daldal ko naman sa speaking. Like, ilang beses niya akong in-stop sa pagsasalita. I think kailangan niyang mag-ask sa amin ng like minimum number of questions and if syempre pag nagtagal kami sa isang question, i-stop niya kami. So ganun, may time siya. And and three parts din yung speaking exam. So yung first one is what's your name? Uh, where do you live? Ano yung mga gusto mong place sa um, country mo? Next part naman is may binigay siya sa akin piece of paper and ball pen. And pinakita niya sa akin yung question. Then, bibigyan niya ako ng time para magsulat ng mga sasabihin ko sa kanya. Like, bullet points. Para ma-explain ko sa kanya kung ano yung question na yun. He knew that yung question niya dun sa paper is gonna be connected to the future questions na mas malaki. Like, mga world view. Like, yung mga world news, world view, mga world trends. Yun yung magiging last questions kasi usually sa speaking kasi yun yung tinake ko before, same then And, ayun nga, same siya na after kong magsagot about yun nga, yung short trip ko, it she relates it to what's the best way to travel. Yung last question niya is that yung international traveling daw is the number one thing na nakakasira sa environment. Um, bakit and ano yung pwede nating magawa for that? Anyway, I'm gonna end my vlog here. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!